is a standard laser system built? What components are inside? And how do the lasers create an image? Basically, the laser consists of parts that are very similar in every laser system, in every show laser systems. So, usually you have the laser sources themselves. This one is an RGB laser system. It's the Laser World CS2000 RGB MK2, so a, a rather affordable, low-priced system uh, with 2 watt power overall. Um, we have the different laser sources, so you see the green source, the blue source, and the red source, and they have their certain driver electronics. So each laser color has a certain electronics for driving and for controlling the modulation of the laser. Modulation means the switching on and off, the quick on and off switching and also the dimming, so the control of the intensity of the laser output of the very color. So you can do that by color. Um, that's why you can create all the different uh, color shades with an analog modulated laser. So what happens inside the laser unit? Um, the green source emits uh, green laser light and this one is reflected here at this mirror. Then the beam travels, you can see the beam traveling here, it's a green beam still, travels to this so-called dichroic filter. This dichroic filter lets pass the green but reflects the blue coming from the blue source here. So what happens is that the green and the blue mix up and come to one beam which is kind of cyan colored. So there is no red in there still. Then the beam travels further and there is another dichroic filter that lets pass the cyan color and reflects the red coming from the red source here. You see the red source coming in here. And um, after that, you have the white beam. So what happens here is we have the three single beams are aligned together to one white beam, which is white if it's all full on. So if all colors are full on, it's white. But as I said previously, you can dim and adjust the powers of the very sources very, very quickly, um, which is called modulation. And then you can create all the different color shades. Uh, to create patterns, the beam is uh, deflected again here at, the, at this uh, mirror and then it hits the so-called scanner block. I just switch off uh, the output to be able to better show you the scanners. You can see the scanner block up here. Uh, it's an X and Y motor and there is uh, mirrors attached to these motors and they're moving pretty, pretty quickly. And with this movement, the, the images, the patterns are created and projected. So the combination of the quickly, quick switching, on and off switching of the sources together with a deflection, the X and Y deflection of the beam with the scanners, the images are created and the colors are created. So this, this is uh, the upper part of the laser and there's a second part that, uh, that contains all the electronics. So the drivers uh, for the scanners, X and Y driver and the drivers for the laser sources and of course the power supplies for the general power supply because usually these systems run on 12 volts, 5 volts or 10 volts depending on the, uh, on the components they're driven.